Hey guys, today I'm going to review Goliath, which is a BNM Hypercoaster Six Flags Over Georgia, opened in 2006. So before I move on to my thoughts, I'm just I'm going to explain my thoughts. But first, I'm going to say the statistics. It is 200 feet, it has a speed of 70 miles per hour, it has a lot of airtime moments, a very intense helix. It's it's awesome. It doesn't really say like does it say the G-force or anything, but I, my guess it pulls about my guess maybe like four Gs or. Four, between 4 and 4.5, I don't know. But this ride is incredible. This is a, just such a cool ride. Um, Just first off, this, I mean, this thing may be only 200 feet, but this thing looks gargantuan when you, like, when you walk by it. This thing is a monster. Also, like, the airtime is so strong. This has some very strong airtime moments. I literally went flying out of my seat. I've rode this coaster twice, and both times I just went flying out of my seat. It was awesome. And also just, it's also running very smooth. And yes, I, I did notice a little, I did, I noticed to have just a little bit of a rattle, but I mean, I just, it's understandable. This coaster opened in 2006, so it's understandable that it has developed a rattle, but... This ride, it's the smoothest does not take away from the ride at all. It's such a good coaster. Personally, in my, it's I think it's in my top five. This thing is incredible. Also, the Helix, which many people refer to as the Helix of Doom. This thing is insane. It, this is a, one of the coolest Helixes I've ever experienced. You go through it and you actually gray out a little bit. It's very rare to gray out on a B&M Hyper Coaster. This is one of those times I've grayed out on a b and Hyper. This, it's a, such a cool helix. And it's just such a original layout. The air, the air time towards the end is probably some crazy air time. Like, there's like one moment air time where it's like, where it's like just, you go through it and then boom, you're like, hurry on your seats. Like, so, like in an instant. It's insane. It's such a cool ride. I personally would consider this to be a kick butt roller coaster. This ride is a kick butt roller coaster for sure. So, and just also, my, well, I forgot to mention another thing I love is how this thing goes outside of the park. When does a roller coaster go outside of the park? This is so cool. I've never seen a roller coaster go outside of the park. Like, even, like, when, literally, when you're driving by the park, like driving to the park, you are literally under the roller coaster coaster it is so cool the there's just so many things i love about glass probably because of the terrain usage that's probably also why the it made the ride look gargantuan but anyways let me get let's get to the actual ride experience video credits go to the coaster force so you go down you go down a drop at 59 degrees it's a 175 foot drop and you hit speed of 70 miles per hour and then you hit a airtime hump and which is um then you go outside of the park, and you so then afterwards you you go through lakes. Then you hit another airtime hill, and you like literally like dive to a lake, which is cool. And then get get ready for the best part of the ride, the Helix of Doom, which you feel the G force in this part. It is intense. That is such a cool helix. Then there's trims, which I didn't really it didn't really bother me because I didn't really feel it on this coaster. But there's the trims. So you got that airtime hump, and then you've got a right turn. I think it's like a bank or something. I'm not sure. But then you got three various airtime hills coming up, which you actually go underneath the Georgia Scorcher, which is a B&M stand-up, which I'll review that soon. But anyways, you do that, and then this is what the airtime I was talking about. Like that, they just slam to your seats. Cool. And then final uh, airtime hill, and then to the final breaks. So overall... Georgia Scorcher is a phenomenal roller coaster. It is in my top five. I'm not going to say yeah. I'm not going to spoil it quite yet. I probably already have, but I'm just going to just say it's in my top five. And this and, it, and that's just because this ride is incredible. There's so many awesome things about it. It's so unique, so cool. It's my favorite coaster in the park by far. So what am I giving it? Of course I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This thing is incredible. Just I'm speechless on how good this thing is. So if you have one coaster to ride at Six Flags Over Georgia, I would ride this one by a long shot. So that will do it for this review. 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. What are your thoughts on this, Fred? I want to know. Have a theme day, people.